How's it going everyone? So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a suite of applications for the Nintendo 3DS. It's known as the Ultimate Virtual Console Injector applications and they're really great because they'll allow you to insert your own ROM files directly into installable CIA files which you can then install directly into your 3DS's home menu. The benefits of having games installed on your home menu is that they're more easily accessible and quite often the virtual console emulators are actually a little bit better than the other emulators available for your system. So I'd been meaning to make this video for a while, but I'd been holding off because the Super Nintendo version had not yet been released. However, that's just recently been released. So now I have a total of seven different systems available. There's the Game Boy Injector, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Game Gear, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, as well as the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine. So there's seven different downloads available if you guys are wanting to run ROMs from any of those systems. It's now very simple, and in this video I'm going to talk about how you can do just that. So if you guys haven't dabbled with CIA files before, or don't know what a virtual console injection looks like, I've got some up on screen here now. These are Super Nintendo ROM injections, all of these games that I'm scrolling around here now. So I'm going to show you guys how you can set up games that look just like these ones. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to launch them directly from your home menu and play them. Just as if they were an eShop download, basically. And here are some Game Boy Advance ones over here as well. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys an example with a Super Nintendo ROM, since that's the latest release. So I've put the link to all of these applications in the description. And if you like, you can follow along with the process as I do one here now. Alright guys, so you'll need to be on your computer here now. You'll also need to download whichever of the injector applications you're wanting to run for. Depends on the system. But yeah, for this video I'm using a Super Nintendo ROM, so I've got the SNES injector downloaded here. So I've got over here my ROM file, which is Lufia 2 for the Super Nintendo. Um, I've also got a graphic icon which I'm going to use as part of this process. So you just need to extract the ultimate injector you're going to be using and then start up the program. It looks like this. So in here it says open your Super Nintendo file. So I'm just going to point it to my desktop and Luffy 2. Now it's going to fill in most of these fields automatically if it detects any chips or the ROM size, etc. So that looks good. So I'll just click next step. Now here's where you can change the name if you'd like to, the publisher, and the icon. I'm going to use a custom icon, so I've got one on my desktop, Lufia 2. Uh, yeah, you can change the description as well if you'd like, but that looks good to me. On this screen you can change if you want the US Super Nintendo to appear, or the Japanese European one. This one looks way better, so I don't see why not to use that. You can change the font, you can change the banner text if you'd like and yeah that looks good for me i'm just going to click next and last thing is the title ids you can tweak those if you'd like to but again the default looks just fine to me so i'm just going to click finish here and then you have to give it a name so i'll just call it lufia 2 like that and save it on my desktop so it takes several seconds and then it gives you the choice to open the folder if you'd like and that's it i can see over here now I have my very own Lufia 2 CIA file. So at that point you're finished with the program. You can just close out of it. And next up you just need to transfer the CIA file over to your 3DS's SD card. So if you have an old 3DS you'll want to eject your SD card. If you have a new you can use the settings SD card management menu to wirelessly transfer it if you'd like. Okay, so I've just finished transferring my Lufia 2 CIA file to my device. So now that I have it, I'll open up FBI to install the title onto my home menu. So in here I'll point it to my CIA folder. And I should be able to find Lufia 2 in here. There it is. So I'm just going to install the CIA file. It takes a few moments and then it'll let you know that it's been successful. Great, so I can close out of FBI now. And yes, if I cycle along, I've got a new package. And so there's my Lufia 2 game. I can see the icon has come through. Looks pretty good. 
And if I try launch it now, I'm sure it will work just fine. <laughs> Problem's going to be since I'm streaming, it's going to run very slowly. Yeah, so that looks terrible with the streaming, but that's just because it's a new 3DS only game, which requires the extended CPU. But anyway, it does look good. It's loaded up nicely. And if I disabled streaming, it would be <laughs> full speed. Yeah, so I'll get out of that now because that just looks terrible with the streaming there. So anyway guys, that shows you how you can create your own virtual console injections using the Ultimate Injector Suite. And yeah, I really wanted to share that because that's some great homebrew software which has just been released. And yeah, I highly recommend if there's any games you want to install on your home menus that you guys give it a shot. It's fairly simple as you've seen. And it works really great. The results are outstanding. And it's awesome the total number of systems that you can run just directly on your 3DS. It really is a great little portable emulation device. So it's been a while since I made a 3DS video, but I have a lot more lined up for this week. So if you're into the 3DS scene, stay tuned as I have more coming up. Hope that helps some of you out. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing. As always, stay beautiful peeps. Much love.